All right. I need my milk. Oh, boys and girls, if you're ever real tired and you need quick energy, too, you want to drink all your milk, too, because that's very important. Boys and girls, do you hear something? Oh, it's the magic monkey. Hi, the magic monkey. Oh, you know what the magic monkey says, boys and girls? It's make-believe time. That's right, and you know what that means. All of the big people in the room have to leave. That's right, they can't take part in make-believe time. Only the little people. So if you're over 10 years old, we want you to leave the room so that the little people can take part in make-believe time. Now we're going to play the music for make-believe time, and by the time that music is over, I only want the little people in the room, all right? Okay, play the music, Mr. Music Man. There it is, boy. Okay, are all the little people leaving the room? Oh, there goes David's parents. Goodbye. Oh, there goes Mary Lou's parents. Okay, bye. Okay, that's the end of the music. Are all the little people here for make-believe time? All of the big people are out of the room? Okay. Okay. Now I have a request here from Vicki Ulanette of Fort Wayne. She asks for page 47 of Fanny Hill by John Cleland. I lay down then upon the couch, and Charles finished undressing himself, revealing to my eyes that column of delight whose impatient gestures signaled the prelude to love's ecstatic union. Urged on by consuming passion, we were quickly joined in soft embrace, his hands exploring the fiery, moist territory whence derived my intoxicating pleasures. Most readily, I obeyed my love's soft-spoken command to alter my recumbent position that he might gain swift entrance. But how can I describe the overwhelming bliss which swept through me as the delicious velvet tip divided the gates of pleasure and the ivory shaft insinuated itself to its furthest penetration only to withdraw and plunge again and again. Thoroughly inundated by the tides of pleasure which flowed forth from these violent actions, I yielded up the last vestiges of resistance giving myself entirely to the rapturous rhythm which carried us all too quickly over love's crest and left us exhausted and joyous upon the shore. Well, that was an excellent request, Vicki. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we have another request here from Kippy Pratt of Springfield, and he asks for page 43 of Philosophy in the Bedroom by Marquis de Sade. Oh, uh, I see we're running a little late, and I, uh, I'll get to this tomorrow, but I do want to make a, a special announcement. Uh, uh, it seems a boy from Newton let his parents stay in the room during make-believe time, or at least it was his mother, because she called the station, and it's a good thing the management doesn't watch the show because they thought it was a crank call. But I'm only mentioning this to tell you that Really, it's very important that you make sure the big people leave the room during make-believe time because if you don't do that, uh, the management will catch on to what we're doing and uh, we'll have to go off the air and I won't be able to take your requests and so on. So really, please, it's very important. Make sure the big people uh, leave the room during make-believe time, okay? Now, as I said, we'll get to this uh, tomorrow when we'll have uh, more time. We'll get to the end of the show now. You can call the big people back in the room. Jerry, you want to hit the music? <laughs>